this is another video from codeworks in this tutorial i am going to discuss quick sort the main heart of quick sort is partition algorithm so let's start by saving this file i am going to save it as quick sort 2 <coughs> quick sort 2 dot c um, it's quicksort2 because I had been working on a previous file named quicksort1. <coughs> Let's start by including the basic standard library functions. Hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h um, conio is not very important but I import it because it's my habit another important library is stdlib standard uh, library hash include stdlib.h now as I said the main heart of quicksort is partition algorithm so I'm going to write the partition algorithm first um, this function is going to return a integer value the position or the rather the correct position of the element and so its return type would be integer and not void so in partition in partition int a the array uh, let's take its size to be 10 then int p int r p is the initial index of the array and r is the final or the last index of the array okay now uh, let's declare some variables such as int temp and i then x um, I can't think of anything else now as I would need I would uh, just write them down now x equal to the last element of the array then um, I equal to p minus 1 or the element the position of the element before the first index of the array and no I will write J this would be a loop counter I will use a for loop here but you can use any loop you want for J equal to 0 or not 0 actually J equal to P J less than equal to R J plus plus okay now <coughs> I'm going to check if um, the J element is less than the um, last element of the array that is X here I'm going to increment the value of I and swap it with the J element so let's try this um, if the J element of the array A subscript j this is j the element of the array is less than x then increment the value of i then temp equal to i the element of a then and this is the code to swap actually um, a i equal to a j then a j equal to 10 okay this code would just swap the values um, the i and j index of the array um, so this is done actually then i'm going to just ch change the position of the last element with its correct position like where i has stopped now it is the position just before the actual a true position of the rth element okay 
um, so I'm going to increment it like this first I plus plus then I'm going to swap it again I just I'm going to copy this code as I don't feel like typing it again and just format it a bit temp equal to uh, position of i l i equal to l okay this will be r now and r here because i am swapping the last element with it and this is the partition algorithm it's done now okay this will return the value of i now i is the i is now i now is the correct position of the rth element of the array that is the last element of this array so return Return i space okay. now void q sort. This is the um, quick sort function actually. This uh, this is going to take three parameters. First, the integer array of ten elements. Then int p int r the beginning and the last index of the array now if p is less than r that is if the beginning index is less than the last index that should always that should be the case but it may not be um, as you're going to see now means if this is true the rest of the code will follow else it would just stop